are selected. And Obama is the last president that America will ever know. He's the 44th president, and there will be no more president. It's all a joke. It's a scam. They're laughing. They know that there's going to be only one president left, which is Obama. They know this. This is the fact. The Lord has shown me through many powerful dreams of, of, for myself and other prophets that this is going to be the last American president that we will ever know. Obama. He is not for us. He's against us. The Obama health care bill justifies the radio frequency identification chip, which tells you to get a chip inside of your right hand and in your forehead. You can see on C-SPAN, or you can go on YouTube and see uh, Biden, Joe Biden, on C-SPAN, talking about brain scanners and the radio frequency identification chip. These are all things you can find out. This is a make-believe. The radio frequency identification chip is real. It is the mark of the beat. And this is going to be the new monetary system. The new way you can only make money. The only way you can buy and sell. Prophesied in the book of Revelation. Chapter 13 and 14. You got the mark of the beat, the number of the beat, and the number of its name. And this is all tied in to the world system. If you believe partial truth of Jesus, why not believe it all? He's the one who told it and is manifested to this very day. The Bible says that a little leaven leavens the whole lump. And leaven is yeast. And yeast in the Bible is symbolic to sin. So if there's any sin that Jesus spoke, then his whole ministry, when he came for us to show us the way, is false. Ready? If one part is false. And of course, nothing that he said is false. Everything that Jesus Christ said is the truth. He said, be ye perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. That means mature. That means blameless. Why are they blocking off here? Why are they blocking? He said, be holy. As your father in heaven is holy. Holy means to be set apart. Holy doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. Holy means to be set apart. That's what it means. Google it. It means to be set apart. I'm set apart for the use of God. People say holy than thou. People use these cliches. says, holy than thou, speaking about people who are self-righteous, and thou is God. You cannot be more righteous than God. There is no hope for America. There's no hope for the world. Our only hope is through repentance. It means to turn away. And we have to turn away from ungodliness. Turn away from sin. Turn away from self-seeking and selfishness and self-centeredness. And get back on one accord with the Lord Jesus Christ. Otherwise, we'll be doomed. Many people, they, 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 they pay attention to when you mention hell, but they don't want to hear the warning. They don't want to pay attention to the way of escape. The Bible says, for every temptation is a way of escape. In every temptation, but there's a way of escape. Pay attention to the escape. The escape means to turn away, to repent. And there's no temptation 
That has overtaken us. It is not common to man. We all have been tempted. The Bible says that Jesus was tempted in every way, but he said not. That he sympathizes with us in our weakness. So you have an advocate if you believe in Jesus Christ. You have the opportunity to turn away and to seek him with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. To love him the way the Bible says, not the way you choose, but the way his written word declares. I saw the Capitol explode. This isn't for attention. I saw the Capitol explode. Through bombs and explosions. I've seen nuclear war bombs drop on this country. This is what happens when we turn away from God. This is what happens when we ignore the word of God. When we ignore the way. How can you expect to abide in Christ when the word abide means to remain? How do you remain in the will of God and you reject him and you deny him and you, you despise his word? That word despise means meaning that you, 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 you don't put any worth in it. No honor. The word honor. It means to value. This country no longer honors God. We no longer value God. And this is why we preach the gospel. We want to tell you that the wrath of God is coming to this nation. It's coming to this country. It's coming to this very city. But through repentance, which is to turn away, that always softens the heart of God. To do it his way, to humble yourself and seek him, he'll change his mind. He'll find pity on us. But we have to do it his way. My brother said that the only true president is Jesus. And in the Hebrew text, the word president means prince. And he is the prince of peace, as the Bible says. And right now, this is not his government. This is the devil's government. Everything that opposes God, everything that opposes God, Everything that opposes God is demonic and devilish. Only the devil opposes God. Only the flesh, what the Bible says, profited nothing. The Bible says that the flesh is at enmity with God. The Bible says that the things of God are considered hostile to the flesh. And the flesh encompasses your soul, which is the way you think that it's your judgment, your ideology, your opinion. What the word heresy means, opinion. This country is drunk on heresy. But we're drunk on the on the wine. The wine of Rome. This country is ran by the Vatican. The 
It's all about politics and a false sense of religion. This is why when the Antichrist does come, he's going to come through politics and becoming a false Christ. A false servitude towards us. False servants, deceitfulness, which Obama brings. He brings deceitfulness. He does not promote the things of God. He does not promote righteousness. But Jesus Christ is giving us the opportunity to turn. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while you have the opportunity, while you have breath in your lungs. Because tomorrow is not necessarily promised for you. That's why Jesus said, Oh foolish man, your soul is required of you tonight. What will you do with all those things? What will you do with all those things? That you heaped up for yourself, those treasures that you stored up for yourself. God bless you, sister.